For those who require the very best, there is no way around the Airfly Pro. It comes with an impressive amount of 4-way buttons, OLED displays, PDC control, professional T-bar for transitions, and therefore this controller provides you the ultimate freedom. The Airfly Pro has a 12-key bus row with 4-way buttons and OLED legends. It also has RGB multi-level metering LEDs for VU, for state indication and for tally. And you get a nice Hall Effect T-bar with an RGB LED bar just next to it. In the top you have auxiliary 4-way buttons, you have backlit encoders with crisp graphical OLED displays and with pressure sensitive elastomer zoom rocker and a joystick pad. And finally, you get a Kia section with incredible flexibility in terms of how you can reconfigure it. All of these components are wrapped in a strong custom-made aluminum enclosure optimized for size and durability and ergonomics in a broadcast environment. One cable carries power and the signals for as many devices as you control. So your video switcher, your video router, your recording deck, cameras even, all of this is controlled with a single cable that carries the signals and the power. The future is IP and if you have legacy systems from serial times, then you can typically support that by endpoint converters, which is more convenient in any case. And if you can't live without the classical NKK buttons, we offer a version of the Airfly Pro with exactly those. We support many of the most popular switching solutions on the market today, like ATEMS, VMix, TriCaster, Livestream Studio and OBS. And we can also integrate with cameras, routers and recorders and even computers. So if you need a couple of buttons just to control a few settings on another device to start and stop your stream or to route an input, it's just a matter of assigning that functionality to a button. Now let's take a closer look at an ATEM configuration for the Airfly Pro. So we have a T-bar and if I pull the T-bar, you'll see it makes a nice transition, of course. We also have cut, we have auto, fade to black over here. I can disable it once again. There's a shift key. So these are all the basic functionalities. We have the shift key as a hold down shift key. You can also have it as a toggle if you want. And up here you have, if you look at the displays, you have um, Kia one, two, three, uh, no, one and two tie, downstream Kia tie and so on. Now, the beauty of all this is that the displays will always tell you what you get on those buttons. That's the flexibility, guys. Now, if we look at this section over here, we are currently in the ME section and we can select preview and program. But let's move over to audio and see what is hidden there. So so if I go to auxiliary, you can see that it all changes so that it's centered around the features that uh, we are dealing with auxiliary media, keyers, macros, and in audio, we can now enable, disable the audio sources in the ATEM switcher. So this one selects sources one to 10. I can now um, toggle on and off these audio sources. I can go to 11 to 20. I can also go over here, it's audio follow video. So it's a different setting for inputs one to 10. But the beauty of this is that the four way buttons just above in the ME section allows me to adjust the um, volume of the audio. And now you can even see that the little LED bar here is giving me VU metering, confidence monitoring. So you know there's audio. If we look at the DV section, you can see that we also have settings for operating the digital video effect processor. OLEDs are really exciting because they let your buttons become anything without confusing the user. You can make your own custom labels, you can write whatever text you imagine, you can even use simple graphics. Here we are with control of vMix, KeyBridge and a new tech camera. So on vMix, I can select sources on a preview and a active source. I can use the T-bar, I can use the cut and the auto functions and so forth. Up here, I can select the different overlays which are assigned to this row of buttons here. I have also PDC control on the upper buttons. And if I press this one, you see this becomes a camera selector and I can hide that away again. But currently I have selected this camera over here and with a joystick pad, I can now operate the camera. So you see with the joystick pad, I can move it sideways. I can zoom, I can also tilt it up and down and it's pressure sensitive. So if I hold it down a little harder, then it is actually moving at a quicker speed. 
Finally, I can make small adjustments on vMix on the computer that Keybridge is installed on. So look at this one and how I'm actually moving the mouse cursor around inside of vMix. I could go, for instance, to the um, system menu and uh, click on this one to open it up. So that is very useful if you need to go beyond all the stuff you have at your fingertips. If you want to learn more about what you can do with your AFLI Pro, then follow us on YouTube where we release videos every single week. You can also subscribe to our newsletters where we keep you updated with the latest news. And finally, our sales and support team are happy to answer all your questions that you might have. You can find all the links down in the description. Have a nice day.